Isang magandang Miyerkules sa inyong lahat. Ito po ang December 1, 2021 edition ng The Stock Market Today. At 24 days na lang Pasko na. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, Benji Chadoro. Ako po ay isang retired bank officer na nagsimula mag-invest sa Philippine stock market noong 2007 and I do this report every day which I started August of last year. I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. If you like the content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you have stocks in mind that you want reviewed, please comment on the comment box and I will prioritize. Ang ating financial news ay tungkol sa pizza at ang report ng Moody's tungkol sa mga telcos kasama po ang ating financial headlines at ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw, December 1, 2021, dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. So let's start with our financial headlines and this is courtesy of BDO Securities on the Macro News BSPC's November inflation rising 3.3 to 4.1 percent. S&P raises growth outlooks on Philippines but warns on Omicron threat. So I think this is the one that is raising concerns with the Philippine Stock Exchange, the Omicron threat. And that is why our index is uh, moving downwards. So DLF says fiscal consideration needed to cut economic scaring from pandemic. Then this is our main news. Pizza's Peri Peri opens 50th store. We also have credit growth picks up as production loan rise. ASEN aims to complete share swap transaction next year. So this is a short news from Video Securities. Pizza opened its 50th Peri Peri Charcoal Chicken and Sauce Bar store in Matalino, Quezon City, effectively doubling Peri Peri store network in just two years since its acquisition from the franchise in 2019. According to President and Chief Executive Officer Vicente Gregorio, we are delighted to open our 50th Peri Peri store. Even during this pandemic, the brand has demonstrated strong performance and all new stores have received very strong market acceptance. So our next news is on Telcos. Telco growth seemed to stay stable in 2022. Credit ratings agency Moody's Investor Service forecast that revenue growth for telecommunications companies in the Philippines will remain stable in 2022, owing primarily to the increasing data consumption and broadband usage amid the pandemic crisis. Moody's expect that telcos revenues in the Asia-Pacific region's emerging markets, including the Philippines, will continue to grow around 5% next year. Rising data consumption and broadband usage continue to drive revenue growth and a higher proportion of revenues, Moody's Investor Service said in its telecommunications Asia-Pacific 2022 outlook released on Tuesday. Although partially offset by declines in legacy voice and mes messaging services, these are becoming a smaller proportion of revenues it added. The credit ratings agency considers the exposure of the telco sector to the coronavirus disruption to be low, as it is an essential service for internet use and telecommuting. Sought for comment, Regina Capital Development Corp. Equity analyst Anna Corinne M. Agravio said, In the longer scheme of things, investors are still more bullish on telco stocks since their operations are considered pandemic-proof. 
On top of this, Globe Telcom Inc. and PLDT Inc. offer stable dividends at attractive yields. So, tama po yun, ano? Actually, yung Globe at PLDT ay one of the highest, has the highest dividend, one of the highest dividend yields among the index stocks. And, totoo yung sinasabi niya, pandemic proof po yung mga telcos and they are seen to grow more in 2022. So, now, let's take a look. Oh, before we go to the index, let me get some of the comments of our subscribers. Sabi ni Mark Joseph, kung bibili ako ng SGP sa December 7, makaka-receive po ba ako ng dividend? Thank you. Ah, okay. So, meron pala si SGP this December. Ang tignan mo, Mark Joseph, yung ex-dividend date ni SGP. So, sleepy natin si SGP, ha? Kasi, yung ex-dividend date, yan po yung date na hindi ka nakasama sa dividend. Okay? Tignan natin si SGP sandali. Okay, ex-dividend date niya ay December 9. So, ang ibig sabihin po nun ay pwede ka pang bumili ng SGP on December 7 kasama ka pa sa dividends niya. Yun po ang sagot ko dyan. Dahil ang ex-dividend date niya ay December 9. Pero kung ang ex-dividend date niya ay December 7, hindi ka na kasama sa dividends. Dahil ex-date meaning tapos na yung pagbibigay niya, tapos na yung date. Dapat December 6 ka bumili. So, yung X date na December 9, meaning hanggang December 8, pwede kang bumili and yet, and receive the dividends from SGP. Okay? And the dividend is, magkano siya? 20 centavos per share. Sana nasagutan ko ang yung katanungan, Mark Joseph. And right now, let's now go to the Philippine Stock Exchange and the Philippine Stock Exchange Index on how it performed today. Okay, the PSE index dropped 253.82 points or 3.52% down to end at 6947.06. This is the biggest drop since August 13, 2021. And at the time, the drop was 3.61%. Now it's 3.52%. So a bit lower, but it is still an engulfing red candlestick. So there was a breakdown today with the closing price at support level. So ito po yung support level ni PSA. Uh, it is below our 100-day exponential moving average. So yung 6973.49 is our support level. And the index ended at 6947. 6973 is the support. So the RSI is near 30. It's 3276. No? Bearish po si PSE index. But... Let's see, ang um, sinasabi ng mga analyst, and this was last November 29, the Philippine shares decline because investors dumped risky assets. So, plus, concerns due to the new coronavirus variant no, called the Omicron. So, nag-decline po siya, and probably this is also the reason why it declined today. So it is now at resistance at support level at uh, the 6973 level. We take a look at the market summary. In the market summary, 165 companies declined, 40 advanced, while 42 remained unchanged. The all share index also declined by 2.7%, dropping 103.79.75 points. All the sectoral indices are down. Then this was led by properties at 5.01%, followed by the holding companies, or the services rather, at 3.71%.
So we will be reviewing the following stocks. So let's review Pizza, ASEM, Monde, ICT, BDO, and MER. Now, Meralco is the only stock which gained today among the index stocks. So let's start with Pizza. Shakey's Pizza, Asia Ventures, declined by 3.32% or 0.29 centavos down or 29 centavos down to end at 840. And it is holding support at the EMA 50, that's 8.35. And for the past one, two, three, three days, it has been moving sideways. So the resistance is here at 529 to 530. The earnings report, meron po siyang net loss of 49.28. This is the third quarter earnings, third quarter loss. So that's pizza. And then tingnan na natin si Asen or Asen. So Ayala Energy. AC Energy also dropped. 52 centavos or 4.61%. It's an engulfing red candlestick. And it is just within the vicinity of M100. That's 10.68. Which is our next support level. Kasi yung first support niya ay nasa M15. No? 11.51 na na breach po today. So it's an engulfing red candlestick for ASIN. And the support is at the 100-day exponential moving average at 10.68. The resistance level will be here at this area at 12.82. But our concern is if the price breaches the 100-day exponential moving average, our next support level would be here at 10.14. When I talk of support and resistance, these are not exact points, but these are area. Now, the relative strength index or RSI is at 30.65, which is a bearish indicator. And then Monde. Okay, Monde also ended in the red with MO100 as our support. That's 16.71 or 72. And from the looks of it, it has been moving sideways since November 25. But it had a red engulfing candlestick today. But the closing price is just almost the same or just two centavos lower than Monday's closing price. So it ended at 17 pesos, losing two centavos. So our support, we maintain at the 100-day exponential moving average at 16.71. And the resistance is here at 19 pesos. And then ICT. ICT is still bullish as the stock closed at 192, still above our EMA20 at 192. And the general formation of the candlestick would show that the stock is still bullish. Our support is at EMA100 at 176. And it's still 176. The resistance is here at this area at the 200 peso level and then bdo i think bdo is at yan bumaba uli siya no lower than the m100 the 100 day exponential is at 119.71 and bdo closed a bit lower than that at 118 right now it is at support level yan 117, 118 pong supported. Ang resistance po niya ay nandito sa 132. So it breached the previous support. Ito po yung previous support. Nandito po sa 124. Kasi yung last Friday, it closed at 124, which is already support. And it is now below the support level. It's the, the current the next support level is 117 to 118. So it is now within the support level. Now, if that continues, I nandito na po, nasa 100, 110 na po yung next support level ni BDO. Dito na po siya. Yan po. 
Sana po ay mag-bounce po ito. RSI is bearish at 35.79. Finally, we have Meralco, the only bright spot. So it had a red engulfing last Monday, but it recovered today with a huge bounce of 10 pesos to end at 298. That's 3.47%. 3 so the MO100 is acting as our support at 287. Resistance here currently at this level, 300 to 302 po yung resistance level ni Meralco. Yan po ang ating report sa stock market the first day of December 2021. Ito po si Benji Chadoro nagpapaalala on investment in knowledge, pace the best, interest, Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay at hanggang sa muli. Stay safe. God bless. Bye for now.